free range and a biotic kind of name. Oh, before we do that, before I use my fantasy pink DIY gel to adhere the nail, because these are so long, I like to free file the edge. Is that Miss Jojo? Was she at Bojangles? Oh, so um, really quick update, you guys. The uh, presentation I gave at the beauty school here was actually a lot of fun. Everybody was really nice. Uh, at the end, I was like, I hope nobody got offended. And I was like, do you guys have any more questions? You guys are really quiet. Everybody was just like, kind of like looking at each other awkwardly. So, But it was fun, though. I talked a little bit about everything, actually, on the um, presentation. I talked a little bit about business and taxes and how to build a clientele and how I started the company. Same old, same old. And I was like, see, I told you guys I was really boring. That's why nobody has any questions. Beautiful. And look at all the diamond memories, you guys. Look at how gorgeous they are. Just gorgeous. Look at all that candy fat. Candy fantasy and the fairy stones. The fairy stones, the fairy stones, the fairy stones. Look at that. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So let's apply the Fantasy Pink DIY gel with the 5XL Caffeine. Let's remove any excess glue. And then give her a quick little freeze. I'm doing yellow as well. This one's gonna be purple because I know lots of the girls here on Facebook love purple, especially Antonia, Kubino, Wilson, and Sue Cook. I know love purple, and of course my mom. That length though, that length is iconic. Let's bake that for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. ones look at that and that color beautiful and there's other ones these purple right here and the purple fairy stones <gasps> oh I left them open great good job Max throw them all over the place is that easy to do on nails and are they Healthy, yes, of course, very easy. We've got lots of videos to show you what to do and how to do it. So let's file those sides. Turn it nice and straight. Have you guys had a chance to check out also our stripper liner gels? Let me know in the comments if you guys have gotten some and how much you love them. Beautiful. Yes, the Bojangles diamonds. Very much so. You girls love the long nails covered in diamonds. It's been a while. Been so busy. Busy is good. Killing the game, sis. Killing the game. Beautiful. So for the color, we're going to use from the Bonbon bon Gel series, we're going to use number one. Which is where's number one? Here she is. It's similar to number five, but a little bit bigger glitter.
she looks like a unicorn. Mermaid princess. And that color is just lovely. Let's bake that for 30 seconds. Purple diamonds ready. We're gonna use our sorting tray. And I'm gonna pick up actually the ones that I dropped. Crystal AB, just to uh, fill in the gaps. There we go. And these are all from Ben and Marie. Halloween nails. I actually did some a few weeks ago. I've done uh, quite a few actually, so check out one of some of our previous videos for Halloween design. And we're gonna take gummy gel, which is the OG gel for rhinestone application, and I'm only gonna put it where I'm gonna put the bigger rhinestones, just because I want that um, extra strength. So we're gonna put it here. Wherever we're gonna put the bigger ones, right here in the middle, like that. And then the rest of them we're going to apply using the I Heart Diamond Gel. Which is our newest gel for rhinestone application. This is an all-in-one gel. Oh, thank you for sending stars! This is an all-in-one gel, you guys. So this cures in two minutes inside the either Darling Lamp, Dazzling Darling Lamp, or Barbie Darling Lamp. And this will dry rock hard without having to wipe or anything or do any special steps for diamond application uh, only for like really really big diamonds would i go around the edge of the diamond just to make sure it's extra sealed but if they're normal size you're good, you're good to go after it's done and you apply the gel directly on top of the gummy gel. A very basic kind of nail. You know, nothing, not, nothing too fancy, nothing too, too blingy. This is the kind of design when you just want a few diamonds here and there. You know what I mean?
It was funny when I was giving the presentation at the beauty school. The teachers were really agreeing with me on like stuff that I would say, and I was like, "See, you guys need to listen to your teachers." Because a lot of the things that I shared are stuff that you know is, is tired and true techniques of the beauty industry, like how to build a clientele and how to uh, maintain a clientele, and you know, really basic stuff like that. It's always the same stuff that's been going around forever. Word of mouth is the best way to build up a clientele. And that's the great thing about working with gummy gel and shiny gel is that you have so much control over the rhinestones. If you don't like where they are, you can move it around without worrying about anything. So this one she don't want to stay on, so let's take her off. towards the middle. Just because the um, light bulb I'm working on is like super, super hot, which makes the gel heat up a little bit, so it makes it easier for it to like move around. And I'm working also directly under a fan, which doesn't help. But in most case scenarios, you won't have these kinds of issues. But look at that, how simple that is, see? How discreet and nonchalant. I think that's okay. So let's go ahead and bake her for just 30 seconds just to make sure that everything is in place. And if I want to add more, if I want to add less, we can during this stage. Was your speech recorded that we may be able to see it also? It was not recorded. I don't know I don't know if any of the students recorded it or not. I thought about going live with it, but um I didn't. I should have though. Never too much, that is correct. Like Dolly Parton says, it costs a lot of money to look this cheap. I'm gonna think should add a little bit more or is that good? I think, I think that's okay. Maybe like one right there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of diamond gel. And apply it right there. And then along the bigger diamonds, like this one right here, I'm just gonna pack some in. So that way the edge is nice and sealed. I don't want it snagging or anything. Mm -hmm. Alright, here. Beautiful. Okay. Let's 
Let's go ahead and do this for two minutes. This month is September. When is Breast Cancer Awareness? Is it October or when is it? Oh. Yes. Violence against anybody. Because men also suffer from domestic violence. Where's the beaten up Paul? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll have time to do a uh, set for breast cancer awareness. Just because I actually have to go out of town this weekend. I'm leaving on Friday morning. I have my family reunion. But maybe when I get back, instead of doing a Halloween set, we can do something that's like a pearly pink. That would be really pretty. Because I'm not very good at drawing the ribbon. But I do have pink bows, so that could be, uh, be used to symbolize uh, breast cancer. So remember ladies, check the mammary glands and make sure there's no lumps. And if you do see a lump, please see your physician. Early detection is key to preventing breast cancer. Same with testicular cancer. Early detection is, is key. Oh, do you see the flowers I bought for the Day of the Dead? My what? Oh, I don't practice those, those uh, things. No. No. Day of the Dead is more like a Mexico City, south of uh, south of southern Mexican tradition. But in some places, they go all out. Like in Sinaloa, they have like bondes at the end. Sugar skulls? When is it? Oh, it's November 1st? First and Do you go all out for the, the Day of the Dead? I know that like, uh, they usually try to do things that the, the dead person like that they're celebrating. Yeah. I'm just going to take a little bit of hand sanitizer to remove any gel that might have fallen on top. Hello, Miss Antonia Kubina Wilson. We even saved the purple one for Instagram for you guys. No, we're busy. How sad. What do you guys think of the diamonds? Just really simple, really discreet, nothing too crazy. Just a very, you know, like a French tip, a sport length French tip with a little bit of diamonds for today. Do you guys like it? It's very candy-esque though, isn't it, too? But people really love this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And we should have done a blue one and a pink one, but we will do that tomorrow so we can have the whole hand. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little demo. It was a lot of fun. Very soccer mom, yes. You know, just we're gonna go to Fias Paredes and then we're gonna go to Bash's grocery store. No, I'm just kidding. Reminds you of Miss Congeniality, she said. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Don't forget to check out all of the new products that we have here at YourLocalTour.com. And we're working around the clock to make sure that orders get out as fast as possible. So thank you so much, you guys, for being so patient and understanding with the shipping delays due to lack of manpower. But they are coming along, coming along. So hopefully, I think by next week, they should be cut up. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.